heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the one-up block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. When we last left off, we rescued Kaz and we learned a little bit extra about the game, which is we now have the ability to use more crap in our Android, or our iDroid, sorry. <laughs> and we can now access Mother Base's, like, little touches like we can get supply drops we can upgrade our weapons uh we can now rescue people from the field or we can capture people from the field and have them work for us basically and that's all fine and dandy but uh you can go into your iDroid to make the helicopter come and pick you up at spots you can do this anywhere uh in the field of course to get back to mother base you have to call the helicopter to get out but here's the shower i was talking about you see that blood on my pants right there And there we go, we're clean. So I think taking a shower is actually a good idea whenever you come back to the base. So with that, we're gonna climb up and we're gonna go into the field. At ease, soldiers. And of course, Ocelot does his little hand thing. I love it. And now we just get a big look at Mother Base. All right, that's enough of that. I, I just wanted to be quiet to let that moment sink in and let the music just take over because, good lord. Development project has been added. All right, episode two, Diamond Dogs. We didn't do anything, so I don't know why there was actually an episode there. I guess that was just introducing everybody. And it's, of course, we have another one of these. I don't remember this happening the first time I played, but that's hilarious. We didn't even do anything. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Hideo Kojima, you little sneaky bastard. Womp, womp, womp. Rewards, we got Ocelot's briefing. We're not gonna listen to those. We're gonna make an extra video where we listen to those, so don't worry about that. I would say we could listen to him while I'm just doing random crap in the field, but of course that would be kind of stupid. Mission I gotta be quiet, I think he's gonna explain something here. I know you haven't been back long, but I've prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye dry. All right, sorry, I was up. Uh, if you press triangle right here, you can actually listen to the tapes, but of course we're not going to do that right now. Uh, this is the helicopter, and in the helicopter you can do a bunch of stuff. Right now there's not really much going on, but the more we get through the game, the more it'll fill up with some cool stuff. But for right now we just go into the an the iDroid. I was about to call it an Android again. I don't even have an Android. I have a fucking iPhone. <laughs> mission list. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. Okie dokie, so of course I'm gonna be quiet while they're talking like that, and if I'm quiet for like an extra second after they're done talking, that's because I'm listening to them on like a slight delay, because fuck you, Hot Pocket. Uh, but, so now we can pick between all these missions. Now, these are, like, main missions, and when I say main mission, uh, there is actually side ops you can do in this game, which is, like, side activities where you do extra crap for the game that don't really mean anything towards the story. Uh, they're pretty helpful, but I'd say stick with the main plot for the most part, because doing the main story, you unlock crap to help you, or, you unlock stuff to use during the side operations, so you can have more fun with it that way. That's just my opinion, but, you know, that, of course, that's just my opinion. 
Now, this is where you can actually go back and try other missions that you've already done. Uh, complete this mission without triggering reflex mode. Uh, so, that's the other mission task that I forgot to do in there. Uh, and as you can see, once you complete a mission, they actually give you all the mission tasks that you have to do. Uh, so, if you replay the mission, you can complete this complete the restraining training and complete the striking training and uh, that will I don't know what that'll do actually I, but if you do that I'm sure you'll just get more GMP or something or you get a higher rank but you can see what the requests are right now we're gonna be just going one by one and doing these in order uh, once we get to the last one we'll start moving on with the story so we do actually have to do these they're kinda just like they're basically side missions because most of them don't actually have anything to do with the story so we're kinda still doing side ops but they're part of the story, so this is where the gameplay of this this entire Let's Play is going to come from. Uh, but sometimes we'll get some story in at, while we're doing it. But right now, we're just going to listen to the debriefing, and or we're going to listen to the briefing, and we're going to start the mission. So, farming villages in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of the Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Tsmasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. Okie dokie, so that's the briefing. Now this one wants us to kill a guy, but we don't actually have to kill him. You can actually just trank him and take him out of the scene and bring him back to your base because he is a really good uh, soldier, so having him on your team is probably a good idea. I don't know if there's actually negatives to not killing him, but, you know, for the most part, in Metal Gear games, you you're opted to not kill things because you get like higher scores and stuff if you're just strictly stealthy and only tranquilize people. So that's good. So we're just gonna do that and, you know, start the mission. Accept this mission? Of course. Uh, we need to go over there, so I guess this is probably just the best place to land. And then here you get to see where we get to equip ourselves with all our cool shit. Now, I can't really equip myself with anything because we don't have anything because I haven't upgraded yet using the iDroid. But, yeah, as you can see here, there's the helicopter in the background, our partner. You actually get to select a buddy. So, Diamond Horse is not, or, sorry, Butt Stallion is not the only buddy you get in this game. There's actually more, and we'll see them as time goes on, but for right now, all we have is Butt Stallion. You can actually select vehicles as well, and select a character, and select equipment. But we can't do any of that really right now, because we don't have shit, so we're just going to commence the mission. ASAP. In the background, it says Diamond Dogs, too. You actually get to make your own emblem for, like, online play, so that's kind of cool. But we're not going to do that here because there's no point, really, you know? Because that's online play, and we're not showing that off until I know what it is. Still haven't tried it out, by the way. Episode 3, A Hero's Way. Your target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Okie dokie. So we have our mission. And at the beginning of every mission, when you get sent in via helicopter, this is what it looks like. Uh, you don't actually... Like, sometimes you'll just automatically be sent back to the base after a mission because it's just part of the story. But for the most part, you can actually just go from mission to mission from outside, you know what I mean? But right now, we're actually on our way to the mission location. We have to go that way. But Stallion's right there, and now we can go. You got it, buddy. So let's just collect some of these while we have the chance. Okay, so he just talked about what we've already talked about earlier, is you can collect plants and use them to upgrade your stuff. Uh, but we uh, we already knew that, so thanks, Kaz. We already knew that. So the mission is over here. We're just going to go around this corner and start it up. This one probably won't take nearly as long as the last episode. Like, 
These episode links are gonna... Oh, I found a diamond. Get up. Hold on, butt stallion. The length of each of these episodes is gonna be kind of wonky, so I apologize if it's like, goes from 30 minutes to like an hour or to 15 minutes or whatever. Yeah, I know. Okay, so that's our mission location over there. Alright, I'm gonna go in from here. I'm just gonna leave Butts Dying behind because this place is actually pretty big. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep your guard up. Okay, so the guy we're looking for is actually a guy with a red hat, which I think is this guy? No, it's not him. Uh, we're looking for someone that looks different from everybody else, and we're supposed to either take him out, or we're supposed to collect him and take him back to the base, which of course we're going to collect him and take him back to the base once we find out who he is. Uh, whenever you find where he is or who he is, just go in there and stealthily take him the best way you can, because once you snatch him up and he's gone, I mean, that's it. You just, you're done with the mission. You can leave and everything's all Gucci. Uh, I do not actually know where, I think he's in that building, actually. Uh, how many times did I just say the word actually? I'm so sorry. If I start to ramble like that, I don't mean it. Okay, so I think if I blow that up, it'll stop them from sending messages to people. But, you know, that's I don't really need to worry about that. All I need to worry about right now is just infiltration. This is going to take up the meat of these episodes. They might actually be long just because of the gameplay. And I'm not going to cut out any of this gameplay. Because I'm going to try and be as smooth as I can with it. Like, I'm just going to try and get in and do the mission I've been told to do. Uh, and do it well and fast and promptly. Hopefully I'll know exactly what the mission is so I can do it as fast as possible. But I'm not gonna, like, lollygag around too much. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy and fuck him up. You're mine, butthole. You're mine. I actually kinda wish I had this other... Like, you can actually upgrade your outfits and stuff, and I wish I had this one where, uh bosses like it's called it's the sneaking suit and what the sneaking suit does is it make it has technology to make your uh, footsteps like softer so you know how like when I walk up to people like this and I get too close you they kind of notice me if I had the sneaking suit on and I walked up to them they wouldn't even notice me at all because like while I'm crouched over it's really really quiet all right so there's a guy I know he's over here I just got to kind of Stay slow. There's a guy over there. Are you the guy I'm looking for? You're absolutely not. So that's good. Oh, crap. He noticed me. You know what that means. Pop goes the weasel. So I could full-time recovery these guys, but that'd probably not be in my best interest because they will actually take no... Tiss. Damn it, I missed. Boom. Got him. Uh, anybody who's looking this way will take notice of people who get captured. So you gotta be kind of, like, wary of that. Which, all they kind of do is, like, let people know that someone got caught. Uh, it doesn't count as you getting caught. Like, they just know someone may be in the area. Like, they, they tell their operatives that someone might be in the area because they just saw someone get taken out of the area with a balloon. Uh, it puts them on, like, an alert status, I believe, or something. Not, not, not actually alert status, but it it makes them aware that you might be in the area, and it kind of, I don't know. You know, like, I don't know the specifics of it, but it kind of just points out to them that you might be in the area. I don't know if it does anything too drastic, but I know it doesn't count as you getting caught. It's just, a, you, you guys, be careful. There might be a guy in the area sneaking up and putting balloons on people. It's fucking weird. That's a, that's a fucking strange dude. I'm just gonna sneak up. I'm gonna pop that guy. I gotta be careful. I gotta watch out for my suppressors, too. I'm really terrible at watching my suppressors. And that guy's mine. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 so they're kind of, they're shaking up now because they saw those guys get captured. So now I just got to be really careful. Which is okay. I'm fine. Also, if you see them with like hard hats on, uh, it'll be harder to hit them and knock them out. Because you can't give them a headshot unless you actually hit them in the face. You have to hit them somewhere that's exposed to actually knock them out with a, a trank dart. 
Oh shit, I didn't mean that that happened. Uh, no, don't wake him up, don't wake him up. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. Son of a bitch, stop moving. All right, I hit him, so he's gonna fall asleep. If I'm not careful, these things are actually gonna like harm me. The suppressor's gonna give out. All right, got him. And pop goes the weasel. Oh crap, 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 crap. Uh, boom. Okay, I don't think that guy can see me, so I'm just gonna reload real quick. And boom, I missed. Boom, I missed. Oh no, I got him. All right, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get some ammo real quick because I'm out of suppressors and I'm gonna be screwed if I get caught. So now we're just gonna lay low for a second. When you resupply, also, they give you, like, resupplies of, uh, full-time recoveries, too, so... It's just really good that you could do this on the fly. Oh, there's the guy! That's him. That's the target. Looks like we found him. Okay. So, if I get kind of quiet, it's because I'm just trying not to get caught here. I can't really do anything. I have to... I have to get my freaking... I gotta get my ammo. I can't shoot or I'm gonna get caught. There we go. You are an idiot. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Shit, I missed. I missed. All right, got him. And then that's the guy. Boom. There might be some people in there, so I gotta kind of be careful. Okay, so we took him. He's ours now. Target secure. I'll tell the client we sent the target to a place outside of heaven. Boss, your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Don't hang around. <gasps> it's kids in America. No shit. Is it really? Oh my god. We just got kids in America. I think those are actually random. Because I think I got that cassette tape in my stream playthrough, and it was like, take on me. So if those are random, that's kind of neat. That way I actually don't have to go looking for them, they just kind of pop up. Uh, but yeah, so we just got Kids in America, and I can listen to that anytime I want. Like, I'll show you, I'll show it off right now so I don't have to show it off later. You go to cassette tapes, and you go to the musical notes, and then you get to see... Uh, we have The Man Who Sold the World and Kids in America. So yeah, you can actually listen to full songs while you're just infiltrating and doing cool shit. I kind of wanted to let the song play so you guys knew it would actually play the music, because that's kind of neat. But, now that we've actually captured the douchebag, we can leave this area and just go. I don't think there's anybody really to catch us. I'm going to take some of these with me, because, you know, why not? We're here, and I've done this mission, like, ultimately well. Okay, got to be careful. Might be people out here. All right, I think we're good. Nobody noticed? We good? There might be a guy. No, he's not there. I think he came down once I started full-time recovering people, and it scared the shit out of him. Uh, you can actually take these with the full-time recovery, but not yet. You have to upgrade your stuff to make it strong enough to lift that crap. Uh, but for right now, we don't actually have the ability to do so. Uh, also, I need to go check my supplies, see if I can... Please no, I don't want... Not that. I want to go check out my development. Please can I develop anything change. neat? Let me go check something real quick. Uh, sniper rifles. Is this it? Uh, yes, so I want to develop this as fast as possible because with this developed, I can actually work on developing the the tranquilizer sniper rifle later. I do not need it, no. Uh, it needs to be level 15, which our current is only level 4, so once it hits 15, I actually didn't know that in my current playthrough, and I could have had the, the tranquilizer sniper rifle so much long ago, or so long ago that, like, I'm so pissed off that I didn't notice. So I took notice of this during this playthrough, so we're gonna actually get that whenever we're able to. But for right now, I think we just need to call Butt Stallion and ride off into the sunset. 
So right now we need to get out of the hot zone, which is this red box area, so we just need to get on this road and take off. So, yip yip. Aw oh, shit, don't go that way. I don't know if there's anybody out here who can catch me, I hope not. Alright, so our support stuff went up, we got some stuff we can unlock, or we can upgrade or whatever. So yeah, this episode went on for 20 minutes, so that was a simple mission and it still took me a little while to do, so... We can expect a lot of gameplay to at least be shown here, even if the missions aren't that great. Because hopefully I can it's still at least keep you entertained while we do some dumb shit on these missions, right? At least I hope so. I don't know. While we're on the way out of here, though, like, I just want to, uh, I, I saw that, uh, Markiplier reacts to, teens reacts to Markiplier. Like, I love that guy so much, and I just, I want to do what he does for people. There we go. Like, again, sorry about that. Got cut off by people talking, but I really want to, ooh, the battle dress. I really want to do what he does for people, just, like, make people happy. All right, I just want to make you guys like really happy, give you a, a place to go and hang out and just, you know, enjoy yourselves for a while, uh, forget about all your troubles and just, you know, be a bro, play some video games with me for a little bit. I just, it's it's just really cool the way he, he, uh, Mark, Mark is just such a good guy. I love him. But uh, yeah, now I'm just sucking his dick. So <laughs> let's just move on with our lives. I mean, I'd be gay for Marky Moo, wouldn't you? I think you would be too. Everybody would be gay for Marky Moo. But, you know, that's that's neither here nor there. Is it is it politically correct to say gay like that? Is it? I don't know. That it's just you asso you associate saying gay with like like negative stuff. Like people just use the word gay like uh they flaunt it around like they just use it to say something is like crappy, which is not the right way to use it. I understand that. I am guilty of saying it like that myself, but like is it proper to say like I I'm I'd, I'd be gay for Mark Markiplier. Can I say that? Am I gonna get yelled at by Tumblr? I hope not. Sorry, Tumblr. You know I love you. Getting used to being in the field again. Having choppers and a horse at your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of Afghanistan. I've gone ahead and arranged for you to be able to develop and customize weaponry for support choppers. And you can also develop new equipment for D-Horse if you like. Use your iDroid to start development as needed. Okie dokie. And we got an elite soldier. It's an A plus unit. So that's why we didn't want to get rid of that guy because he's actually really good. There's a bunch of people that we extracted that get added to our team after this little... Okay, so yeah, now we're done with that. So we can go straight to the... Soldiers and prisoners you've extracted. These aren't missions per se, but if you can take care of them when you're free, I'd appreciate it. Okie dokie. So we've unlocked the side op missions. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't give her. If we zoom out, I think, and then move around, you can see where the side ops actually are. Extract the interpreter, uh, the Russian interpreter. Extract the highly skilled soldier. Uh, and I think those are the only missions we have right now, right? Do we not have any? Oh, no. Those are. Those are the side ops. And then we have actual missions that need to be done that are get pointed out. They're like big areas. So we have side ops, and I am going to go do the one where we get the, uh, oh, sorry about that, where we get the Russian interpreter. But I don't know if I'm going to actually do that one on camera because, like, like I said, that's just like a side op. And all he does is interpret the Russian so we can uh, interrogate people, which will be helpful, but it's not like it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, we're already going to have to do, as you just saw, a bunch of random missions like this already. So, showing off one of the random missions is probably not that great. Uh, if, I don't think anything, like, special happens in most of the side ops. It's just, like, uh, regular crap. Like, I just got to go extract the Russian interpreter, and that's all. It, I just did that, literally, to get that high-grade soldier or whatever. But, you know, whatever. That's that's neither here nor there. I'll just do that off-screen, and then we'll continue the story after that. But, uh, yeah, that's all the time we have for this episode. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Later days, everybody. That's the target. Правда? 
Научи меня каким-нибудь клевым выражением. На случай, если я вдруг встречу американца. Uh, хорошо, повторяй за мной. I spent. I spent. Last night. Last night. With your girlfriend. With your girlfriend. Ха, это было неплохо. Правда? Completed. Extraction arrived at mother base. Unit function added. Boss, that language specialist you extracted has been very cooperative. Says he's always dreamed of living a free life like folks in the West. What are the odds, huh? I've gone ahead and placed him in the support unit. His job is Russian interpretation. Now you'll know what Soviet soldiers are saying. You can even interrogate them.